Hello, everyone. 大家好 I'm Guo 老师 Today, this class, we're going to introduce you something about Chinese supermarket. It's for the people who are interested in Chinese supermarket and want to buy something in Chinese supermarket, but don't know what to buy and are curious about many things from China. So our title here: 去中国超市买什么 What to buy in Chinese supermarket? Many students of mine ask me, recommend them something in Ch- Chinese supermarket. So this class, we are going to introduce you some special products, ingredients, tea and snacks from China. 这是什么？怎么吃？好吃吗 ？What's this? What's that? 那是什么？这是什么？ How to eat? How to eat it? 怎么吃？好吃吗 ？Okay. First of all, let's see the very famous Chinese food ingredient: 豆腐。豆腐。豆 It means beans. Beans. It's the name of all kinds of beans. And here, specifically, it's a soya, soya beans. So it's the ingredient of tofu, soya. In the Chinese supermarket, you will find two kinds of tofu. One it's more hard, it's harder, and the other is softer. It's called lao tofu, harder. We know the meaning of lao is old, so they are old, they are harder. 老豆腐 you will find on the package this character 老豆腐 or another character 硬硬 means hard hard. So anyway, there will be some in instructions like harder. You will know that is harder. And 嫩豆腐 means softer softer. I recommend you try first the harder one because it's more easy to cook. The softer ones, it's very easy to destroy, maybe more difficult to cook. So, how to cook the harder tofu? We use this method to cook. It's called light fry, 煎 It's fry, but not deep fry. It's just to use a little oil and put in the frigidaire to fry it and make the surface a little yellow like this. And put a little salt. I already take this out and to mix later with other vegetables you will cook. 煎豆腐 In English, fry can mean deep fry or light fry, but in Chinese there are two characters. 煎 It's this kind of light fry, like we fry the egg in the morning we eat the breakfast. That is called 煎鸡蛋煎鸡蛋 If you put something. Everything in the inside of the oil, like you fry the potato chips, that kind of deep fry, it's called 炸 It's another character. So 煎 is for this light fry. 豆腐 is an ingredient that don't have special flavor, so it can match with almost everything, especially for the vegetarian dish, like this 素菜 Su means vegetarian. Cai means dish. So su cai means vegetarian dish. There are many people in veg、uh, in China that don't eat meat. They are vegetarians, and tofu is a very good option because it's protein. They don't eat meat, so tofu is a very、uh, option to them vegetarian people. And here, these ingredients are easy to find. Asparagus, carrots, and other little、uh, vegetables. Everything can mix with tofu, so you can try this first because it's easy to find asparagus and carrots. The way to cook it, we will explain later.、Uh, let's see another ingredient, and because they are all vegetarian dishes, they are vegetables, so I will introduce them first. The ingredients. And this we also can find in China in Chinese supermarket. It's called 大白菜
Chinese cabbage. This 大白菜，大 means big, 白 means white, because it seems a little white in this part. White 菜 means vegetable. So 大白菜 Chinese cabbage, and we also have 小白菜 little cabbage. They are like this, more green. They are the same space, but a little different in appearance. But in Chi in Portuguese, they all called a couve, right? Couve. So in Chinese, they are all 白菜白菜白菜 This vegetable also don't have so much flavor. So this kind this kind of、uh, vegetables you put together. 白菜 and 豆腐 is also a good match. It's a good match and has a good meaning because 白菜 can means 白菜 in Chinese means a lot of fortune, a lot of money, and 多豆腐 sounds similar like 多福 a lot of lucky, a lot of、um, good luck. So this is what Chinese people want: the good fortune, money, and、uh, lucky. So we can we call this a、uh, dish: 小白菜炒豆腐炒 We can see the radical; it's a fire, and this component 少 This 炒 here 炒 means you stir fry a little something. So it's called stir fry, stir fry, stir fry. It's another kind of fry. It's not a fry with a lot of oil. Just to put a little oil, and when you cook it, you need to stir it like this. So stir fry tofu. So you can stir fry tofu with a little cabbage, with a big cabbage, or with other vegetables like the asparagus, carrots, other vegetables. Okay, here we have 炒菜炒菜 the radical of fire. 火 indicates that this is the way of cooking. If you use more fire, may sometimes it's on the left side, and like this method, 煎 it's on the bottom. So anyway, it's related with fire. This radical also related with fire and cooking. So, 炒菜炒菜 is the most common method we cook in China. We like to eat vegetables. We cook the meat with ve with vegetables in this way to 炒 instead of to grill, to go to the oven, to stew. We use more the method of 炒炒 Three things is the essential things of stir fry. It's the oil temperature, 油温油温 and the moisture content, 水分水分 the tone it's it should be last tone, 水分 and duration and degree of heating, 火候火候 means you put more fire, more strong fire or less fire. So this it's the factors. That if this dish will be tasty or not. So we will explain later how to stir fry the vegetables in a Chinese way. Before you start to cook, you always need these three things for Chinese cooking. Like in Portuguese, we use onion, garlic, and tomato almost in everything. First, you put some olive oil and to cook a little the onion in little pieces, and put some tomato little pieces and stir fry a little and to give flavor, and to put other things inside. In Chinese, in China, it's the same, but the ingredients are not not the same. It's these three things that we need: 葱姜蒜葱 It's this little onion in Portuguese is called cebolinho. 葱 You will find this in Chinese supermarket, and the things you find in the normal Portuguese supermarket it's alho francês, that very big one. It's、uh, it can be if you don't have the Chinese sub、uh, cebolinho, you can use that、um, French garlic, that big one. It's similar. And the jiang we all have, gengibre jiang. 
and suan aliu suan they all have. So it's only this more special sabolinu that you will find in Chinese supermarket. And before you cook it, you also need to chop them into little pieces like this. Prepare it and put. And another ingredient you will need is this, the soy sauce. Most for the vegetables, you need this sheng chou, sheng chou, the light soy sauce, sheng chou. So this brand is a very good brand. I always use it, Li Jingji. In China, people also like this brand. And now you can find in China, and here you can find in Chinese supermarket, Li Jingji. Yeah, this flavor is better. So sheng chou, lao chou, this lao means dark or more have strong flavor. You use to cook meat. But today we only talk about vegetables. So we only use sheng chou. And this spice powder, it's also very important. If you put this, pow uh, this powder, it will give a typical Chinese flavor. It's called five spice powder. It's made by these five things. You know, this, I, I, I'm not sure how to read them. Cinnamon, yes, cinnamon and clove, and star, anise seed, and you know, this, this three, no matter how, how to read them, in Chinese, the name is Wu Xiang Fen. Wu Xiang Fen. You will find in the spicy uh, spice sector that little package have these three characters printed on it. It's called Five. Xiang means perfume, something smell good. Wu Xiang Fen. Fen means powder. Powder. Like mian fen, it's a kind of powder. So mian fen, <coughs> wu xiang fen, five spice powder. And you buy it, and you buy this light soy sauce. With this, you already can make a typical, authentic Chinese flavor uh, dish. So let's start to see some other. <coughs> yeah, we have other ingredients more typical in China. It says Chinese yam and the lotus root. They also don't have so much flavor. They are the vegetables don't have so much flavor. But if you cook well them and put together, it gives you a very good um, appetite because they are light. They don't have so much flavor. When you don't want to eat meat, you want to eat something more light, you can choose them. And they are very nutritious, especially this one and this one, because they are the root of the plant. Usually the root has more nutrition. Called shan yao. Shan Yao and this Lian O oh, Lian O. Oh. So because they are the root, so they have less pesticide remains and they're very nutritious because the root absorb directly the nutrition and transport to the leaves and other place. So they are the most nutritious part of the plant. And it's very good for the health. This dish seems a salad, but, but it's a stir fry dish. And we will explain how to cook it. And we, before we talk about the tofu, can go with the cabbage, can go with the asparagus, this kind. Of, it also can go with these two ingredients because tofu match with all, all of this. No matter what you found, you can put them together. Qing chao shi shu. Qing means very light, very light. Chao means the fry. Shi means of this season. Shu means vegetable. So we like to cook the, use the ingredients from this season because they are of the season, they are fresh, they are good. Shi, it's of this season. So the process how to make this dish. Firstly, you prepare the things and put them like this. Organized, <laughs> chop them into pieces. And a special process is to put them boil in um, water. Because this Chinese yam, uh, yam and uh, lotus root, they are more hard. So first you boil some water and you put them first to boil for one or two minutes for it's already cooked it so you don't need to stir fry so long time and it's already cooked it so firstly 
you put the oil boiled, uh, put the water boiled, and to put this inside for one or two minutes. And then you put this irvilla. Irvilla because it's a green vegetables. These green vegetables you cannot put in water for boil water for a long time because it will become not so green, not so fresh. And the vitamins will be lost, will be destroyed. So just in the end, we put and just uh, heat a little and it's already cooked. And when you take this out, it's still crunchy, it's still fresh. Some people may, may think, maybe Portuguese people may think they are not cooked because they are still crunchy, because they are used to the vegetable still more soft. But Chinese people like this more fresh, crunchy and um, fresh. So they take this out. And now heat the fresh data, the panela, and um, put that chops of Congjiang Suan. This with oil, to stir a little, to stir fry a little, put here, to put Cong Jiang Suan. And when you smell something good, when you smell, when you feel it smell good, and you put everything inside, using the strong fire to stir fry for one minute, and put salt and that powder of five spice, and stir fry in, in one minute or two, if you want this more cook it and tempering and then this process is not so necessary thicken by add starch i don't like this but in the restaurant seriously they put this to make it more shiny but in at home you don't need this i never use this method so and in the end you can take this out to the dish already good to eat it's very simple to cook it. And this, you, they didn't put the soy sauce, but you also can put a little because it's called Qing Chao. So this here, Qing Chao. Qing Chao means very light, so don't put so much flavors. If you want to stir fry like this, maybe you need some soy sauce. And this, they also put soy sauce, but maybe this one you don't need. It's all, everything depends on you, your flavor. Yeah, your seu gosto. Okay, this is a basic way of cook Chinese dish and very simple. You can try if you can find some Chinese ingredients like this. And now we will introduce some uh, snacks. Some snacks. Snacks is called ling shi. Ling shi. Ling is the same character of zero. Ling, the number. Ling. Shi, it's a food. So snacks means the food that is not for the normal meal. It's like you, you eat when you have free time. So it's a zero food. It's not a meal. It's just some snacks. Ling shi. We have different kinds of snacks. And this group is called rou lei ling shi. Rou means meat, all kinds of meat, no matter it's a fish or it's duck, it's chicken, it's pork, it's or even it's seafood. This is the lula, lula, the seafood. So no matter what kind of animal is, if they are from animals, they are called rou lei ling shi, rou lei ling shi. So you find here, 牛肉干, beef jerky, 小鱼干, processed little fish, 鸡翅, chicken wings, 鸭脖, duck neck, 鸭翅, duck wings, 鸡爪, 鸭爪, the feet of the chicken and duck, and seafood. They are processed, they are already cooked, they are in a little package, you can open it, you eat it directly. Yes, they don't need to cook, they are snacks. Uh, most of them, they are fried, like this fish, they need to fr be fried and put it with flavors and eat already. 牛肉干, the beef jerky is not fried, and it's a healthy snack, 牛肉干. But this type of snacks with uh, meat, 肉类零食, they are usually very spicy. It's you can find something not so spicy, but uh, most of them, they are spicy. So be careful to try them if you cannot uh, bear so much spicy.
And here are some、uh, snacks. It's similar to this 肉类零食零食 but they have a special name. It's called 卤卤 something. 卤 it's the way to cook food in the thick salted sauce. So they put a lot of spice、uh, in the soup, like a thick salted sauce, and boil for a long time for the flavor enter everything enter and have a good flavor. It's called lu. In China, we use this method a lot. These are the eggs. You can eat the egg like this directly. Lu 豆腐干豆腐干 It's the it's related with 豆腐 It's something more hard and more dry than 豆腐豆腐干 I like this because it's chewy and with good flavor. Um, 卤鸡腿卤鸡腿 the the chicken. Leg, and this ya chow. It's some some options for you. They are not so spicy. Yeah, this you can see from the appearance, they are a little spicy. So, 怎么吃？这些零食怎么吃 ？You can find on the package. They said, 开袋即食 means you open the bag and you already eat it. This is the formal language. We don't talk like this. If we talk, 怎么吃这个东西怎么吃 Maybe I'll say, "You open and eat directly." 打开打开直接吃直接 means directly, and 吃 means eat. So you open it and directly eat it. 打开直接吃 On the package, because it's a formal written language, so you will find 开袋即食，开袋即食。And then this group of snacks, 豆类零食 they are made by beans, all kinds of beans, like 花生 peanut, 蚕豆发文 Now this 发文 is Portuguese. Sometimes I don't know in English. Hmm, 蚕豆 and 豌豆 peas or ervilia, or other kinds of dry fruits like the walnuts, the other kinds of lunch. <coughs> so you find them in this little package. I like this kind of snacks because they are crunchy, right? It's like um, it's like another kind of potato chips because potato chips we are tired of it, and so we change into these kind of fried things. So this and this and this you can find in Chinese supermarket, but many maybe others、uh, similar in this type. This is fava, right? It's fava, ervilla, peanut, and this.、Um, I like I like this very much, but try to choose something that is not spicy. This have a lot of flavor. But choose one not spicy if you cannot eat spicy. And this 怪味胡豆 yeah, I also find this in Chinese supermarket, and I like it. But this is called a strange flavored、um, fava. It's also a fava, so strange taste horse beans. And、uh, it's called horse beans. So this, I suggest you don't try it because for you may be a little strange the flavor. And this guaba, it's made by rice. If it's not spicy, it's it's good.、Uh, it's crunchy. It's like potato chips, but made by rice.、Yeah. Guaba, it's also a recommendation from me to you try. And this is called inflated food. You find all kinds of this from this brand Oishi. This, I think, this is not a Chinese brand, but we have a lot of this in China. And all, all of this inflated food, 膨化食品膨化食品 Potato chips is also one kind of inflated food, but、um, here have different kinds of. And now we have the. 糕点类零食 bakeries, but they are not from the bakery fresh. They are the they can be preserved for longer times. They are in the box, but they are kind of bakery. So you can find something from China like this. 
this is yue bing. Yue bing is also belong to bakery, right? But you can find in the package. And this I like very much. This green, it's, it's made by green beans, little green beans. Very, very tasty, very sweet. All kinds of this. Gao dian lei ling shi. These are all the image from Chinese supermarkets. I copy them from the store's website, so you can try to find if you find them. And this brand, Dao Xiangcun, is a famous brand from Beijing. When I was working in Beijing, there are a lot of stores uh, of this brand. They are the Qing uh, business, so this brand is very good. And now let's see something to drink. So. For the teas, the common teas that black tea or green tea, you all know that. So I only introduce some flower tea. Hua cha, hua flower, cha tea, hua cha. In Chinese supermarket, you find this jasmine and rose, and chrysanthemum. That's word I don't know how to read. Chrysanthemum, ju hua cha, ju hua, ju hua cha. And we put with um, boiled water and make tea, and also with other ingredients if we want to put. Ju hua cha is when you have the throat with a lot of pain. Because in the Chinese um, medicine theory, you have sore throat because you have fire, you got fire in your body. So this is good to put down the fire in your body. So your throat can be better after you drink this. And mo li hua cha gives a very good uh, smell. Perfume. And Mei Gui Hua Cha, it's the thing that I recommend to the girls because I like this very much. And here it's, are the, some ingredients that the girls can use. And this Gou Qi, Gou Qi, you find it in Chinese supermarket. And this is called Hao, or in Portuguese, Baga, I don't know, because in, China, in Portuguese don't have this fruit. It's the sour, the flavor is sour, but it you can put just a very little. And this is a red sugar or the dark sugar. It's a red. You find this in Chinese supermarket also. And the red dates, the special Chinese dates, red dates. And the rose, they are also red. And also in Chinese medicine theory, the red things give you blood, give you qi give you energy. So the red things put together to make a tea like this, it will help the girls to get have better color on the face and also to help the circulation of the blood, especially in those several days of each month. And if you drink this tea, will you will feel much more comfortable with hot, hot tea like this. So this is my recommendation to the girls. And here has some medicine tea. Yeah, this I also like very much. When they catch a cold, they have sore throat. Here, I don't know other things to take, so I always take them. Um, they are made by the Chinese medicine herbs, but when they sell that, they don't sell that as medicine because it will make things more complicated if they are medicine. But trust me, they are harmless. They are just some herb, herb tea. So use them, even you don't feel mm, so bad, this don't harm nothing. So anyone can drink, even the kids. So they, this Jin Ying Hua is for the sore throat, and this for the sore mm, throat also, and very, very mm, sweet, and this is very sweet. They are all sweet because they put sugar in it. So they are all sweet. So good for the throat, and this, um, a cha for the a cha for the constipation. Yeah. And this langen, it's a Chinese medicine, but you can take it when you have even you have flu or you have flu infection, you can take it. It's very helpful. So but don't uh, too worry about that. It's medicine, it's not that strong. And the effect is also not, not that strong. Maybe it's useless to you, but for me, it's better that take, to take this than take nothing because it can help a little, um, maybe. So we can see from the package, they translate the name as Gan Mao Cha beverage because 
if you write that it's full or cold, it's it will make things complicated. So it's they are just a tea. They are not the, the real medicine. In Chinese medicine theory, the food and the medicine they are the same. They they have the same origin. We use the food as medicine, so they don't harm the body so much because we say all the medicines they are poisonous. Poisonous. So these kind of things they are just the same. Like we eat food. The, the, from some ingredients from the food, they are not so strong and not so poisonous like other medicines. So it's my recommendations of drinks. And in the end, I recommend this fruit, special fruit from China. I think in Portuguese you call it uh, tulanja, tulanja, but in Chinese it's called yuzi, yuzi. Some yuzi inside is not red; it's just uh, white. But this kind of red, it, they are very, they are more sweet, because those white ones they are a little sour and a little bitter. But this fruit is not that sweet like orange. The flavor of it, it's a little sour, a little acid, a little, a little sweet, a little. It's very fresh. It's a fresh flavor. I like it because it's not only sweet. Because I don't like the things very sweet. The flavor is not like orange. It's very fresh. So yuzi, yuzi. When you see something that you don't recognize in the Chinese supermarket, you can ask. This fruit is what? This fruit is what? Or this fruit is called what? And the people there will answer you something. And the smell is what? If you want to know the, the flavor of it, you can ask how it tastes. The smell is what? The smell is what? If it's sour, it's sweet. If it's sour, it's sweet. Sweet is 甜 so this fruit is a combination of sour and sweet. So we we said it's 酸酸甜甜的酸酸甜甜的 or 有点儿酸 a little sour, a little sweet, 有点儿酸有点儿甜 But I believe they will tell you it's sweet because they want to sell it better. But um, but believe me, it's not that sweet like you expect. 酸酸甜甜的 Okay, so so far we already talked about many things, ingredients, the way to cook Chinese and dishes with vegetables, vegetarian dish, tofu, 白菜大白菜小白菜 and this and、uh, the lotus root, lotus root, and the Chinese yam, and the way to cook it, some snacks. I think it's not everything in Chinese supermarket. You will find much more things, but today we don't have so much time, so we only introduce this. If next time, if we have more chance, I will introduce you more things. So today it's just this, and in the end, let's learn some Chinese, some phrases, some sentences that you can say in the Chinese supermarket to practice a little bit Chinese with them. And believe me, they will be very happy to hear a foreigner to talk Chinese with them. So if you want to find something but you cannot find, you will ask the help for the people working there. So 老板老板 it's the boss. Even they are not the boss, they are not the owner of this place. You can call them all 老板 They will feel happy to hear that. So 老板我想买 I want to buy something. 我想买你们这里有没有 Here do you have this or that? 你们这里有没有这个？这个？ Yeah, sometimes you don't know the name. You have a picture of it from the recommendation of a Chinese friend. You can show in your cell phone. 你们这里有没有这个？有没有这个？ Show the pictures. Or you know the name. You can put the name here. 老板，你们这里有没有柚子？有没有酱油？ So if you,、uh, they can show you it directly to save your time. Right, you don't need to search by yourself. And If he found that you can speak Chinese and talk something more in Chinese, but you don't understand, don't feel embarrassed. You can say to them, "I just know a little bit Chinese." So, 我只会 I only know. 我只会说 to talk, to speak a little Chinese. 我只会说一点中文 And they will understand. You just want to say something. You don't know so much. It, it's it's just a way to reduce your embarrassment. I only say a little bit of Chinese. You also can try to say, "This is good." This is good. 
这个怎么吃 ？How to eat it? 这个辣不辣 ？Yeah, this is very important to ask. If you don't have sure this is spicy or not, you can ask this is spicy or not. 这个辣不辣？这个辣不辣？辣 ，spicy or not? Not spicy. So, if you want to find a specific brand like that soy sauce from Li Jingjie's special brand, you will ask. 请问 ，May I ask? 请问 ，to be more polite. 请问有这个牌子的吗 ？From this brand. From this. Brand, 有这个牌子的吗？有这个牌子的酱油吗？有这个牌子的饼干吗 ？So 这个牌子的。And in the end, you want to ask how much cost it everything? 请问一共多少钱 ？I will tell you. 十块八 ，ten euros and eighty cents. Yeah, in this time you need to listen. Uh, with attention, even they will tell you in Portuguese. But if they found you know to say Chinese, they also can tell you in Chinese. So listen with attention, and you can understand because numbers and price is a basic thing that we when we learn Chinese. And you also can say sorry, I don't have um coins, monedas. Sorry, 我没有零钱 This 零钱 it's the coin, monedas, 零 zero. Money, dinero. So those very little money. It's 零钱零钱 You only have twenty, or you only have fifty. They are the big money. So you are sorry for that because it gave trouble to them to give you the changes. So 对不起，我没有零钱 And they will ask you, Do you want a bag? 要袋子吗 Do you need or do you want? 要袋子吗 A bag. 不用了 means. No, I don't need. I have. 不用了，我自己有。I have of myself. 我自己 means myself. So I myself I have. Thank you. 谢谢 If you want, you can say I want a little bag or a big one. 要一个小袋子，要一个小袋子 Okay, and they will say welcome to um Val de Sembre. Um, come back always. 有空常来。If you have a free time, please come frequently. Valde Sembre. 欢迎 means welcome to come again to visit again. 下次 next time. 光临 is a formal word to 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 buy something at store. 光临 or to come to a business um place. 光临 yeah. 欢迎下次光临 is a word they will say. You don't need to say it. You don't. You only need to understand. And 再见 is just goodbye. And 慢走 it's always common. You you can hear if you say, um, walk slowly, walk carefully. So walk well, live well. So it's to say, um, goodbye to you. Slowly walk. So it's to you go well, you live well. So it's these things that. Maybe you can talk in Chinese store or a Chinese supermarket. And in the end, I want to share this recipe of Chinese food to you. I found it on the internet of the University Polytechnic of Lelia. I think it's on their website. The students who study Chinese there make this recipe. They translate it into Portuguese. The cooperation of、um, Portuguese student and Chinese student there, so I believe it's good. So there is a proverb: "Chinês antes de dar comida a um mendigo, dá-lhe uma vara e ensina-lhe a pescar." So, 授人以渔不如授之以渔 You give someone the fish. It's better. It's not better than you give him. You teach him how to fish, how to catch the fish. So I treat you with Chinese food. It's not better than I teach you how to cook by yourself the Chinese food. So you, this recipe, uh, Hasita Chinese, it's to you can try something that you are interested. Th th these are the common dishes that in China very easy to do. You can download from this link. I will send to everyone. Okay, 
So in the end, let's see some pictures that we take it's from the, this Chinese supermarket. In Porto, in the center, you'll find two. I think one is uh, closed in the middle of Trindad and Bulion, and another is close to the um, Plaza de Republica. So you can find these two. This one is bigger, and that in the Plaza de Republica, it's uh, smaller. But I like to go that smaller one because have the things that I like, I prefer. But they are all good Chinese supermarket. So, 探秘中国超市, explore the Chinese supermarket. That's it. I hope you enjoy it. And see you next time. Bye.